Hi there, Jamie here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today, I want to show you how you can have fun creating fantastic presentations in Microsoft Sway. So whether it be for storytelling or more of a professional presentation, you can use Microsoft Sway to do this. Now, it is free to use. You do need a Microsoft account, and I'll go over that today in today's tutorial. But here's a little example that I created here just of a simple vertical uh, slideshow like this. But you can simply change this in a hurry by going up to Styles. And then you can see if you want it to be more horizontal and it goes through horizontally, or you can even make it look like a PowerPoint slide by slides like this. And if you wanted to change the look, just simply hit the remix and it will go through and pick a few different ones. And you can just click on it a few times and it will show you different colors or you could be picking your own. So these are just a few of the different examples that I'm gonna go through here today on this tutorial. And when you're all ready to share this, you can hit play and share right through here. So let's get started today with how to use Microsoft Sway on Teachers Tech. So as I said, Microsoft Sway is free to use, but you do need a Microsoft account. Now, if you just go to sway.office.com and I'll put the link down below in the description, you can go ahead and just click get started and then create an account from here. Now, if you already have a Microsoft account, you could just log in with this and this will go into Sway. But how I usually go into Sway, and I'm just gonna go over to my Office account here, my 365. If I go ahead and look, and I'm already logged in, look at my apps, you'll be able to see Sway. And this is where I access Sway. So those are a couple different ways to get to Sway. And once you click on this, it's an app inside uh, your Office account here, Microsoft Office account, and here's all my Sways. So that's where I'm gonna start from today. If you're thinking, why do I need to use Sway and why not PowerPoint? They're both great applications that Microsoft make. I have a video and I'll put a link in the card up above in the description down below, kind of explaining the difference between them and what would work best for what situation. Now, uh, I just want to point out, uh, I am going to be starting from a new blank Sway in this tutorial here. But something I really like is uh, this start from a document here. You can take a Microsoft Word document and upload it and it goes right into Sway way. And if you take a look down below at the uh, timestamps of this video where you can jump ahead to different parts, I am going to cover that towards the end of the tutorial. Uh, and you can also export your sways as a Microsoft document too. But to start with, let's go ahead and we're going to start a blank presentation. I could start with templates as you can see, but if you know how to work the blanks, then you can go back and edit your templates after. So I'm gonna go ahead and select Microsoft Sway just like this, and it's gonna open up a blank one to start. As you're going through this video tutorial here today, if it's helping you out in any way, I would really appreciate if you could hit that like button. It really lets me know if I'm on the right track with these lessons. So let's make a quick presentation in Sway and you can see how easy this is. So let's start with a title and I'm just going to place uh, my cursor in here and I'm just going to paste something I'm copying and pasting off the one that I already showed you that I created. Here's the three smartest dog breeds. Now, when I put this in, I can emphasize this. If I want, I can highlight, hit emphasize and you can see uh, how it is a little uh, more bold. I could accent it. I can link it too. So if I needed this to be a link somewhere on another place on a website, I could go ahead and click it. Uh, this would be the display text and I could just put it to what web page I want it to go in here. I could just paste that URL to here. So I'm just going to cancel it because I'm not going to link this. Now, the next thing I want to add right away is a background right here. And uh, you can do this a couple different ways. I could click on this and at this point you can see it has suggested uh, probably based on the uh, what my title is here. And I could use one of these here. So if I was going to select, and you can see I have Creative Commons only, I could go and click Add, just like that, and that's added to it. So this is searching online. I can undo up top here. So I'm just going to undo. If I wanted to bring something from my computer, I can just drag it in. So here's a folder I have right here on my computer, and I'm just going to go open up the file. And I'm going to take this image right here and just drag it and drop it and it's going to upload it to Microsoft Sway. I'm going to close this right here and you're going to see the image once it uploads it goes right into Microsoft Sway right here. I do want to point out too that there's a focus point over here. If I click on the focus point uh, 
it gives you, it, you can kind of highlight what you want to focus on. It shows a little example of where it is right here, uh, how it would look to people mobile and on a web page. So if I go and click on uh, something else here, now you can see that it moved it up. So you can pick where you kind of want to focus that image on. You can click a few different places to see uh, how you want. If I click over, uh, you can see how it kind of gets moved around. So I'm going to leave it like this. And I'm just going to exit out and we have the start. If you want to see what it looks like right away, I can hit play up top here and I have a start just like that. I haven't picked, this is kind of a default one, what it came to, so I can make some changes. But if I want to go back to edit, now I can start adding some more things. If you ever want to go back to see all your sways, you can just simply click sway up here to return to your sway homepage or you can, then you can see your edited, or you can go back to your uh, office where you see all your different sways that you've worked at and you can open sway like I showed you before again. So let's add a little bit more information to this Microsoft Sway. And to do this, I can go and just hit this insert content right here. So when I click this, you can see now I get some options. Do I want a heading, a text, image, stack? Uh, and what I'm going to choose right now is text. And what I'm going to do is just paste in some more text from my other slideshow. So I'm pasting it in and I, you could type this out. I just chose to paste it in. And at this point, you can see you can have the same uh, type of things as we did in the heading. If I wanted to emphasize something, I could highlight it. So if you go ahead and highlight a certain part and emphasize, you can see the difference. I could make my accents uh, change for whatever I select. We can use our bullets numbering and we can add links at any time so i do want to go to another web page just highlight that word and add the link i want to point out we do have we can set emphasis on this card so whenever we add one of these these are another card whenever i hit the the more content i can add another card uh, right now i have uh to this set to subtle but if i wanted to uh change it to more a more dominant one you can see how it makes the change and i can delete so at any time you could hit play up here to view it but you can also go, go to design and it gives you so this is uh just a quick view through design you could go back and forth forth from storyline to design like this and right away you can start changing what you might want your design to be so like i showed you in the intro if you go ahead and hit styles here do you want this to be a horizontal slideshow where you could go through like this? Do you want it to be just slides where the information goes through? So you can pick uh, how you want this to go through. I'm going to keep this as horizontal. I might change it again as I go through. I can go through and pick a different look through here just by selecting, uh, uh, clicking on each of these and you get to see uh, how it might look and you can uh, arrow through on the side. Now, if you don't want to do it that way you can just hit the remix up top and it will go through and you can quickly get some ideas of what you might want a look that you might want to, to use on this so if i hit this just a couple more times and i'm just going to leave it at this so it gives me an idea this is going to be a horizontal one right now and the information i have i can go back to the storyline and now i can get ready to add some more cards so I'm just going to go ahead and add the three dogs to this and I'll just do the first one here for you and then I'll just speed it up. So I'm going to go insert content. This time I do want another heading here. So I'm just going to click heading and I'm going to put in, this is going to be a uh, border collie this time. I need to get an image. So I'm going to go back and drag this one in again. So here's my picture of the border collie and I drag this in. I can go get some text here that I can copy and paste in or type it out by just doing the same thing I did before by hitting the plus and this time it's going to be I'm going to put text again and I'll just paste it in just like that. So now I'm just going to add a couple more dogs in here so I get all three in. So I have my three different dogs in this presentation now. If I want to take a quick look at the design, I can click up here. I can maybe now decide, you know what, I like vertical better. And I go to this and I can test it out at this point. And so I'm going to go back to the storyline. And at this time, I think, well, I want to add something more to this border collie. Maybe I want to add uh, to this card a video. So if I hit the plus insert content under here, I can go look for more 
in the media. I could upload video, images, audio, I can even embed in here. So I'm just gonna do an example as a video here. So if I click on video, and I already typed in the search here, Border Collie, and you can see I get all these different videos through here. So if I was gonna pick one of these, I could select it and add, and I can close out of this, and now I have a video. Notice I can uh, add a caption if I want to, uh, and I'll just, this right, taking a bath really quickly. And again, I can do all the things that I showed you before. So we can take a look how quickly this changed. We can go to our design and see what the video would look like in here as I go down and it's that simple to add videos to this and I can hit play uh, from here and Roaming it will start playing from at this point and if you want to make any changes remember it's very easy to delete any of these cards just by hitting delete right here uh, just so if you want to make any changes then you do have your undo Changing the order of these cards or slides is very quick in Microsoft's way. So for here's an example, if you want the video to come before the text, I can just simply drag it like this. And I do want to point out, you notice that we can uh, we can open and close this a little bit more. So if we kind of wanted to just more of a closed version of this, we can uh, just click it like this so we don't see the detailed version. And you can change. So let's say we had a, a change of the smartest dog, which is the top one, maybe Poodle's Pass. At any time, I can take a card and drag it up above to change the order. So it's very simple to drag uh, these around to different orders just like this. Uh, one of the things I really like about uh, how easy it is to use Microsoft's way. So I wanna show you some more great things you can do with images here. Uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit insert content here. And this time I'm gonna go, actually I'm gonna start with the heading. Let's just put a heading here first and I'm just gonna call this more great dogs. I'm not gonna worry you with a background image. You don't have to do that each time. So now I'm gonna hit the insert content again. And we're gonna go over to group. Now inside group, there's all these things that we can do with images. Sometimes you'll see some of them with suggested also. Uh, it's different than if I go to media, you can see we have image, video, audio, we can upload. But with the groups, we have these different ways to insert images. So it could be an insert, an automatic group, a grid, a comparison, which is a lot of fun. If you have two pictures, maybe like before and after that are in a similar location, and you can drag in the middle to show uh, the difference, what's what's changed in them. We have stack and a slideshow. So I'll just do a grid for this example. So if I select grid, then I'm going to go over uh, to my, uh, just to the, my folder that I had with the different dogs, and I'm just going to grab these like this and I'm going to grab these six and just drop them so they're being uploaded from my computer uh, it shouldn't take too long to upload all these six to a Microsoft Sway and you can see they're coming up right now and you can change the order of these two so uh, the only thing is before you change the order uncheck uh, you'd want to uncheck just so you don't have multiple ones selected uh, then you can see uh, if I want the German Shepherd to be first, I can do that. And let's take a look at what it looks like in design. So if I go design and we get this nice grid that was easy, all it was was drag and drop into the place. There's my heading that I put without a picture. And so we have in this, uh, in this so far, we have a, we have videos, we have images, we have text, and we decided to go in a vertical design on this. So that's how simple it is to create a sway and that from a storyline mode by switching things around and going into design and just messing around and having fun with it. So I just added one more slide here, just a little bit of a bibliography where I got the information on this uh, sway. So let's go up to play up here to see what it looks like. When I hit play, it shows what it'll look like once I share it with other people. As I go through, you can see I have the video uh, as I go down, everything right here. I do wanna point out, if I click this right here, this navigation, so if I click it, I can go through it a little differently. You can see at each heading how it went through and it will navigate through this way too. Uh, so very simple to create all of this. Now, let's say if we wanted to share this with other people, we can actually have other people editing this too. If we go up to share, you can see we can share it with specific groups, those in your organization or anyone with the link. When you invite people, you can invite them to view, 
or you can invite them to edit. So just some, then you can copy this link. So this is the copy button right here. Then you could send it to somebody in an email and then they could click on it. And depending on what you have here, uh, it will, they'll be able to edit or not. We have our more options also here. So I just wanted to point out those different settings so you get them just the way you want. Now, if we move over to these right here, uh, this gear, uh, you can see how quickly you can change if you wanted this to be a loop continuously. So uh, if I uh, unclick it, we have autoplay settings. So every three seconds or, or every five seconds now, you can adjust uh, how you want it to play uh, your as it goes through it. So you can also change your layouts through this point too. Any animations are on and off. So no you can always go to those gears. We do have more settings here where we can create new. We can go back to all your sways at this point. Uh, we can uh, save this as a template. We could print this. We could export this. So if I export this, uh, do I want to export this as a word, as a PDF? And you can close it from here. So if you just wanted it as a document, you could do that. So if I hit the word, it's going to export it as a Microsoft Word document. And then I'll be able to open it up right in Word. So you can see it's downloading right now. It's not taking very much time. And then when that's done, I can go ahead and open it. So you can see when it opens up, if you wanted to edit it from here, here is the information that it went through. It has even the video put into it and it's in this Microsoft Word document. Now I wanna show you how you can upload a Microsoft Word document. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna just go to My Sways. So I showed you different ways at the beginning to get to My Sways, but I'm gonna click My Sways. I want to point out, before I upload the document, I want to show you something cool about starting from a topic. So if you go ahead and click on this one, you can just type, and I'll just uh, go with what they have their dinosaur, and create an outline. What it's going to do for you is it creates an outline for you that you can just go fill in. So maybe uh, you just go through and you can see it tells you what you should put. So here you should put a definition and it gives some information. Uh, they'll be, add some images to it. So they get this presentation set up for you. It's searching the internet, putting in the information and you can go ahead and modify this. So I'm just gonna go back again. I'm gonna hit uh, Sway this time up here and I'm gonna go start from a document. So if I start from a document, I'm going to go uh, to my desktop. I have a document here, how to use aug augmented reality. That's a Microsoft Word document. So it's going to pull from this Microsoft Word document and you can see it took the information from it and put it into all these cards. I had an image in the document and it did put it into this spot and I can go ahead and play it at this point. But it takes all that information, puts it into the cards and remember you can start changing the order if you want or editing any of these things. The links that I had from the, the document uh, are there. You can see how it's linked right from here and where it goes to. So those are some simple ways to create some Microsoft Sways. So the last thing I want to point out today before I leave is that there's analytics in this too. So here's an example. If I just go down here, uh, we see edited, viewed, analytics here. So if I click on analytics, then I can see uh, how many people viewed it, how much time they've spent on this, uh, average completion and everything like this. So this can be great if you're looking for analytics. So what I'm gonna do is with the slideshow with the Microsoft Suede that I just created, I'll put a link down below in the description so you can take a look what it looks like too. So thanks a lot for watching this week on Teachers Tech. Let me know what you think about Microsoft Suede down in the comments. Uh, I'll talk to you next week with more tech tips and tutorials.